Hello my lovely ladies, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel and in this video we're going to go over how you can become a queen in your relationship. If you ladies have been keeping up with my channel, you know that I have been going in on your goddess energy and how you can use it to manifest and create the life that you want to have and especially in your relationships. Now, in my previous video, I spoke to you about princess dating and that is specifically for the single ladies who are entering the dating world or have been dating for a while and want a different result from it. And today's video, I'm going to be specifically speaking to the women who are in a relationship and engaged. Now, if you are not here yet, I suggest you go and watch my previous video on princess dating because you're going to need that type of energy to move forward in your queen energy. So just the fyi like always i have my notes here and we're just gonna go through this as quickly as possible i know that i mean i have been making very long videos and thank you guys for bearing with me and the ones who truly sit through them and really get the information that i am trying to relay in them thank you so much before we, you know we get into it completely i want you to really understand what the queen energy is and what it looks like so when we think about the queen we think about a regal noble who is sovereign who is a ruler who you know holds this title who's elegant who's classic so when we think of that we must also relate it to ourselves now the reason why i put the queen energy in the relationship and engagement sector and not the wife sector is because with the empress being the wife she is the one who upholds the family she is the one who really is about creation and creating this family life for her husband and children if they choose to have one and with the queen that's not necessarily necessarily her responsibility. She is not yet there in creating a family. She is here just creating the life she wants and the life that they are going to be having together, but it's mostly about what she wants still. So uh, not saying that the Empress doesn't have what she wants, but the Empress uses a different way to go about it than the Queen would. And the thing with the Queen that is different from, say, the Prince is that she doesn't ask she expects and what do I mean by expecting because I know a lot of people say you know you shouldn't have expectations you shouldn't have expectations well that is for the beginning of of dating yes you shouldn't have expectations you shouldn't you know say you know this is how it's going to be because you haven't yet experienced it you know you you don't know this person yet but if you're in the point where you're getting in a relationship or getting engaged with the person you should have a good idea about who they are and the expectations you have that they can fulfill them so i want to bring it again to like an audition for a role right and i said it in uh the princess date but I want to bring it here so we can see the level say you know you got the role and you know they love what you did in the audition and now it's time for you to perform right this is the time where lights camera action they expect you to perform the way they expected you to perform right they they have an expectation for you to perform you know really well for you to come with the same energy that you gave them during auditions or better right you're not they're not going to expect you to downgrade they're not going to you know ask you hey what's going on they're going to tell you you're either going to do what you said you were going to do or you're not and if you're not, then I there's no reason for me to ask. I need to let you go. So it's the same thing 
in a relationship. If the person is in your life in this way, which is a very serious way, they should already know what it is that you want and they should be providing that for you. So that is why it's very important during princess dating that you listen to them, you see what kind of person they are, you really see if your values align with each other. So then that way you're not wasting time with them and you're not really putting all your eggs in a basket that truly doesn't fit what you really want. So make sure that you have chosen the right person that you do not have to ask they you just expect it and you get it you receive it because i do believe in manifestation law of attraction and really just allowing things that you believe and that you desire to come to you and if you are with a man who has risen to his king status who is the king in your life then he's going to understand that and he's going to provide that for you so always remember not to ask for things but to expect things and your whole energy changes and i want to say the reason why this only works in your queen energy and when you're in a relationship and engaged is because if you're you know just dating and you're expecting 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 you're going to come off as entitled but if you're already in a relationship with this person or already engaged to this person it's already to be expected okay so remember that and that also goes with not changing your standards. I see a lot of women fall victim to this where, you know, they start off wanting something and then, you know, eventually down the line, they start conforming to, you know, whatever modern society is telling them to conform to, whatever their friends or family or whoever is telling them to conform to, and they're just moving away from their values. So for example, I will see women who say, you know, I want a provider, man. I want a provider man and then they'll go and get in a relationship with a guy who's not a provider and then he expects her to go 50 50 and she becomes so in love with this guy that she agrees to it and then basically all her standards around that starts to fall apart because once he realizes okay you'll compromise on that and that seems like a really huge compromise what else are you going to compromise on and then it starts to all crumble down so continue to have the same standards that you had when you were princess dating and allow him to step up to the plate allow him to show you what it is that he is about now if you're in a relationship and the whole time you guys were dating you never picked up a tab you never paid for your dinner don't just now because you guys are in a committed relationship or engage that now you start you know paying the bill don't do that that's backtracking and it's going to allow him to just say okay she's open and willing to do that I'm gonna continue to let her do that and then you just have a whole weird dynamic and you're no longer with the provider you're with a guy that you're 50 50 with so always remember yes I know some women want to say you know I'm independent I can do this I can do that sure that's great but if you want the type of guy that's going to really provide and be there for you and take care of you and just really pamper you then you're going to have to keep those same standards that you had when you were in your princess dating while you're in your queen relationship so remember that also when you're in this queen relationship or engagement you're going to meet his friends and family you're going to meet his co-workers you're going to meet the people who are important in his life and this is the time you need to really show up and you need to really present yourself in a way where it's not going to embarrass him, where he's going to be proud to have you, where after you leave and he's speaking to his friends and family or coworkers and colleagues, they're going to say, she's amazing. She's great. I love her. I love her for you. This is when you become that social butterfly that's making a good impression on the people that matter in his life. My fiance introduced me to so many people his family, his friends, his colleagues, 
uh, just the people he did business with. And I, you know, put my best foot forward and I was always, you know, showing up as my best self. And every single person had something positive to say about me. And that really made him look at me in such a grand way. Like we've traveled with friends and they were like, oh my God, like she's great. Like I love her with you. With family, it's the same thing. Like he gets so many compliments on even the person that he is is now that he's with me so you want to make that impression just so you have the support of the people who matter to him the most especially if you want to move up to empress level and not just stay stagnant because if you're the girlfriend which I don't like the whole girlfriend thing but if you're the girlfriend or the fiance who you know nobody in his family you know likes and no none of his friends want to hang out with you and they're doing game night but you can't come because nobody likes you that's going to be an issue and it's going to make him want to probably find someone who they do like because people do want their friends and family to approve of the person that they're with so get your social skills together even if you're introverted you know come out of your shell show these people who you are it's time for you to shine because their votes matter okay so another thing that i want you ladies to know is that you need to have a hobby or something that you're passionate about that he sees that you're passionate about and i say this because um these days in modern time some men really don't have an issue with providing for a woman you know not having her work and allowing her to do what it is that she pleases with her day because he can afford to have her do that and that is great but i have come across men who say they are have no problem doing this but they would love for her to be doing something with her life they don't just want her to be in the house just watching tv all day they would like her to have a hobby or something she's passionate about they don't need her to pay for anything or require her to go and get a job but they want to see that she's doing something with her life so ladies always remember your man is looking at you he's paying attention to what you do are you just gonna be lazy because in reality if that's your personality he may think twice about wanting to marry you and reproduce with you if he sees she's not really active now my partner he's super active he works really hard he's involved with the community he has his you know own hobbies that he does like i don't know how he finds the time and he spends a lot of time with me and i'm like wow like anytime i see his schedule i'm like how do you fit everything that you're doing and he just does it and so then i'm sitting there and i'm like all right well he's got you know his whole day scheduled out of this 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 and this and what am i gonna do how am i going to show up in my own life and how is he going to see me if you're around someone who's like that if your partner say is like that he's going to expect you to have something going on he's not going to just you know want you to follow behind him all the time although yes you should be doing things with your partner but you need to find your own thing too and i also do things with my partner we like to go bike riding every weekend we like to do like little puzzles together we like to travel and do other things and go to restaurants and all that fun stuff and we do tennis we we do a lot of things together but he does so much on his own as well so that's why i think it's important for you to just have your own thing going on as well and then coming together for something because that will also propel the relationship and have you to empress status in no time another thing is you want to allow him to be vulnerable with you you want to give him the space to know that he can let you know how he feels he can let you see the parts of him that he may not share with anybody else i really tapped into this 
once me and my partner were together, he really just was vulnerable with me. And I've had people be vulnerable with me before, but this was the first time where I really felt like I should hold, you know, his vulnerability dear to me and appreciate it. And I became his best friend. And when he told me that, I was like, wow, you know, I've been friends with people before, but he was like, you're truly my best friend. I feel like I can tell you anything. You know, you're my rock. You're the person that I can like come to and feel safe with to just let you know how it is that I feel. And like I said, he's a very bus busy man. His uh, profession requires him to be very serious. He can't really be so emotional. He's very, you know, structured and has a lot to do. And so when he's with me, he gets to be vulnerable. He gets to say how he feels. And I love that. It's made our relationship so strong and it's something that he really appreciates. And that's part of the reason why he wanted, you know, to marry me is because I was someone who he felt like he can feel safe to let me know his secrets. And that is very, very important in any relationship, but especially your queen relationship. He needs a confidant. And if he knows you're the type of person that's not going to be blabbing on the phone, telling your friends everything, and that you're going to, you know, really keep his secrets and his vulnerability between the both of you, then you're on the right track. So another thing is to maintain or upgrade your beauty standards. So whatever level you were doing your rituals or beauty regimens or just keeping yourself looking beautiful is going to need to stay the same or level up. You do not want to be, you know, cutting back and not doing what it is that you've done. You don't want to be like the type of girl like that, you know, once I'm comfortable, now you're gonna see me looking like any kind of way because the reality of that yes men do want to see you chilling you know not wearing all the makeup and kind of laid back and stuff like that but they still want you to put effort in it they do not want you to just completely turn into the girl that wears sweats and it's time to go outside he wants to see you put some type of effort back into your look and you know present yourself like the princess he saw when he first started dating you. So keep that up or upgrade your looks. So I know that when we started our relationship, I was always, you know, dressed up, looking good. Even throughout our relationship where, you know, we started to hang around each other a lot more and really um, just had a closer relationship, he still says like, oh my God, like you are the best dressed person because no matter where you're going, you're always looking great. And he recently just told me like, you know, that's part of the reason why I love you so much because you always look good. And even if you're not trying, just the way you put together your simple basics make you still look good. And so ladies, pay attention to that because men are very visual and they do want you to look good or, you know, look even better than you have. Like never go the opposite way and moving back and then, you know, you're not even the princess anymore. And then if you're not even the princess anymore, it's hard to keep your title as the queen. So remember that in your queen relationship to always maintain or upgrade your looks. And you also want to maintain your spiritual practices, your rituals, the things that, you know, make you feel good on the inside, your fitness, your health. Don't backtrack. So I know with me, because I always have to let you guys know the mistakes that I made, um, I you know gained a little more weight once we got in the relationship because we were eating out so much and we were just like doing a lot of things that kind of knocked me off of my fitness routine and knocked me off of my health routine right because we were having desserts when I wasn't really eating desserts that much but you know because we're on this beautiful date and I want to try everything on the menu now I'm eating desserts all the time so you want to be mindful not to uh, just go overboard with that because it's so easy to fall in that especially when you're constantly going on dates and eating out all the time and you're just gonna probably 
probably skip a workout or just not take your spirituality as serious, not meditating, you know, just allowing the relationship to take over. So you want to always schedule time for your fitness, for your health, for your um, meditations, or if that's something you practice or your prayers, you want to make sure that you're using, you know, your time wisely and that you're giving that time to yourself. So please be mindful of that. Don't be like me, be better. I'm now, you know, getting back into the shape that I was before because I actually really loved my body before then. And now I'm okay with my body. I still think I look great. I still have like a great body, but I want to get back to where I was before I met him because that was, you know, my dream body, my goal body. And he likes that body too. He was like, you know, I love the way you look now, but I definitely like the body you had before. So if that's what you want to do, I'm here for it. So just remember that, ladies, that the body that he saw you in before, he probably wants you to stay at. So please be mindful. So this is going to be a major thing I want you ladies to be mindful about is you never want to stay in the queen energy too long. And so what I mean by this is that if you are in a relationship with this man and he does not propose to you by the first year, then I personally would probably begin to separate from this guy because that gives him a lot of time to actually figure out if he wants to marry or you're not. This is why I want you ladies to really be mindful when you're princess dating about the guy that you're going to choose to actually go forward with because if you're not sure that he's the type of guy that is marriage material that wants to marry you then you are wasting your time now i know men say you know i want to marry you i want to be with you i want to do this i want to do that but actions speak louder than anything it does his action support that? And that should be something you should see before you even get into a relationship with him. His actions should mimic a relationship. He should be begging to be in a relationship with you or even just try to be engaged with you straight like from the dating phase you want him to really show up in your life or you're going to just keep on dating because if he's not willing to show up and be that person for you then there's no reason to waste any more time with him right so please make sure that you're choosing the right guy that wants the same thing as you so I know in my situation, because I have to bring it back to my reality, just so you guys can have an idea of what exactly I mean, when me and my partner started dating, from the beginning, he let it be known that he did not want to see anybody else, that I was the one, he's, you know, dated other people before, obviously, and, you know, met other people in the recent um, time that we met. And once he met me, once he hung out with me, he was like, no, it's you. I, this is, you're, you're the person. And every single day showed up, continued to just be the man he is, continued to provide whatever it is that I needed, just continued to show up in, in my life. Like he literally, I think the second week, gave me the keys to his house you know he was like here you go you know here's everything you need um whatever you need i'll show up for you he's always even to this day every week brings me fresh flowers i just don't have to ask for anything he literally just gives like if i need my nails done like i don't even have to like tell him he just gets it done he washes my car he puts gas in it like he just does the things that he needs to do and i don't say anything but because he was so sure about me he instantly got into the role of king emperor i'm gonna be there i'm gonna show up for you and you know that's very beautiful and powerful and you don't have to really ask at that point he just going to show you so please know that if he's showing up for you like that 
allow him to and then you can go forward with that type of guy but if he's not doing those things i'm not saying he has to do exactly those things but if he's not even doing like the minimum of those things then come on you know like i think within like the first month of dating we took a trip and you know he took me to a city i never been before like those kind of things where you talk about something and they happen that's something that i noticed in him is that if he told me he was going to do something it was going to be done and there was nothing that was going to stop him from actually making it happen and i appreciated that because i always wanted somebody to be like that that if they said something it was going to happen and there was no excuses to why it couldn't happen so just know that kind of guy is going to say hey I really see it with you I want to marry you I want to be with you and he's going to show up that way so don't be bamboozled and and caught up with someone who really isn't saying that but you like them for a million other reasons be sure on the guy you spend time with because if it's past the year and you're still on the same status you're going to start to resent him and you're going to start to feel like you're wasting time but you're so scared to let go that you're just going to continue to waste more and more time and you definitely do not want that so just know this relationship girlfriend boyfriend whatever you want to call it pre-engagement that's all it is it's just a pre-engagement and it and it, there needs to be an engagement you know within this year and if there's no engagement within this year it's time for you to go back into your princess mode and choose somebody else so that's literally the best advice i can give you on that is give yourself you know a time limit do not get caught up as these women who spend five even ten years being a girlfriend in a long-term relationship that's absolutely ridiculous and we just do not have the time to waste on that and i wouldn't even give somebody two or three years so please just have some standards when it comes to that especially if marriage is really what you want there's no reason to stop you from getting that only you can stop you from getting that and that's accepting something that you clearly don't want and if you're sure that within this year that you want to marry him then what's making him so unsure so remember that so another big thing that i suggest no woman should be doing in princess or queen dating and that is having a child with him or being pregnant now i see this all over social media i see it you know with people i grew up with i just see it all the time and it's somewhat acceptable now to be a baby mama or a single mom but the reality is that is a very very hard life to agree to and without a commitment from him to you I would never suggest or do anything that serious with someone who hasn't given me anything, right? Because just because he's nice to you, just because he buys you gifts, just because he's paying some bills, just because, you know, he says he loves you, does not award him your womb does not award him your power to create. So please ladies, do not get caught up having some man's baby that literally has no commitment to you, has no obligation to you, and you're just gonna give him your whole body. Because let's be honest, once you have a baby, your body is changing, you know? no matter if you do cesarean if you push it out it doesn't matter your body is going to change your emotional state's going to change your mental health is going to change that's a lot to give to somebody that has given you nothing you know there's nothing compared to that even marriage doesn't just award someone your womb like you literally sacrifice so much even your life to give birth to a child right so giving him a child is the worst thing to do in princess or queen relationship here's another thing if you do give him a child if you do become pregnant that's where it stops 
there is only a small amount of women who are able to, you know, become wives after that, but it usually stops at like engagement. So if you do it and you're already and you get engaged, then you know, that's usually where it stops. Now, if you do it and you're not even engaged, then you'll either stay a girlfriend or you're just gonna downgrade from there. Because in reality, he feels like he's already got you. There's nothing else he has to do. You've already given him the ultimate thing that you could possibly give him in reality. Giving someone a child is the top thing in our lives that we can give to someone. You literally said, I just reproduced you. And if he says, well, I got her to do the the the, the most biggest thing that she could possibly do to me for me, and I didn't even have to marry her. Why should I? Really, think about it. Why should he? You he you're already now connected to him for as long as he wants to be connected to you. And sometimes that's not even very long. Sometimes that is so short where you're like oh my god I got pregnant and now he's gone and he was just this great guy but now that I'm pregnant he's nowhere to be found don't let this be you ladies don't have his baby don't get pregnant by him and don't do it and get engaged and say okay well now I'm engaged and because that's also something I don't like is that someone's pregnant and then they rush and get engaged and it was like did you get engaged to me because I'm pregnant or because you really wanted to marry me because if we're getting engaged because I'm because you really wanted to marry me and I just so happen to be pregnant then we're going to the courthouse right now this engagement is like one day and now we're going to get married because apparently that's all you want us to do but if you get caught up with you know now we're engaged and it's a long engagement and you already had the baby and all this time is wasted he ain't never gonna marry you let's be honest let's be honest because there are times where you do i've seen women get pregnant and then you know they get engaged you know quickly and quickly get married because they want to be married before the child gets there because he already had plans to marry you but if you're just pregnant and he's like well you know let's be engaged and there's no wedding in sight but you know you're about to pop out a baby yeah so please be mindful do not do it it's so so much of a sacrifice and he's done absolutely nothing to really have the honor for you to give him such a gift as a child so please protect your wombs do not have his baby do not get pregnant by him all right <laughs> So I really hope you ladies appreciated this video and found such great value in it. And I really hope that you take this information and you use it for your relationship and your engagement. And if you like this video and want to see more videos like this, please like this video, leave me a comment and share it with your friends and family. I know so many women will be grateful to hear this information. So please do me a favor and share it with them. And if you would be so kind, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.